In today's video, we're gonna be using the brand new Zuko decal from the Avatar bundle. So if you guys haven't already seen, there is an Avatar The Last Airbender bundle. Um, there's a bunch of different decals. There's the Aang decal, Appa, Zuko, Katara, Cabbage Merchant, and Toph Beifong. Um, so I was lucky enough to get given this bundle by Epic Games, and in today's video, I'm actually using the Zuko one. Kind of talking about, you know, how I've been feeling recently with the game and, you know, what I'm going to be doing in the future to make sure that I can improve and get back to where I was. Anyways, I'll see you on game number one. All right, <clears throat> game number one. Good 50 there. Okay, quick uh, quadruple commit, if y'all don't mind. I can't get that. That's a perfect shot top corner. That is crazy. <clears throat> All right, so... I have a bit of a problem. So I know that I've been saying in my videos, I've been maybe a little bit of a Debbie Downer where I'm like, well, I'm just playing bad recently. And that's still true. I'm still not quite at the MMR rating that I have been to. Like, obviously, I, I was just a sell, I think, a couple of videos ago, right? Well, I haven't been able to get back to that. And even though I was, like, playing, you know, for, for three hours on stream today, it was pretty much, I think I ended, like, 30 MMR lower than where I started. And, you know, part of it, I believe, was just that my car control, uh, mostly just my car control and my recoveries felt like they were off. Like, see, I just missed a wave dash there, you know, and things like that, which I haven't had problems with ever in the past before. Like, not really. You know, things like that have all of a sudden become a problem, and it's been really, really messing up my game. Need boost, bro. You had like 18 years to grab boost. What are you talking about? Did you miss the He might have missed the corner. But anyways, things like that, which have never been problems before, all of a sudden, now they're problems. And, you know, I really don't know what I need to do to, like, fix it. Shot? It's a good fake. Maybe you can get one more. Uh, close. Uh, I really don't know what I need to do to fix it, beside, you know, just grinding out free play and just... Really getting comfortable with my car again and with Rocket League again. You know, because I do have a suspicion that it is to do with the fact that I haven't been playing the game as much. And, you know, I still enjoy playing the game. It's just that I've also been enjoying other things recently. Like, I've been enjoying playing, like, Apex Legends. I've been enjoying playing, like, Counter-Strike. You know, things like that. <clears throat> and I just haven't had as much time for Rocket League. That being with, like, school and exams and homework and all, and all that stuff catching up to me. Which is not a lot of time in the day to play Rocket League. But, you know, I definitely can be doing things to, you know, play more. Play, um, you know, or like maybe improve the quality of my practice while I am playing. So that's a big thing where, you know, if I'm playing and just autopiloting and just kind of like talking to stream like all willy nilly and, and stuff like that, right? Like, I'm not going to be improving as much. Or, I mean, in my case, getting back to the level there where I was, if I'm just, you know, kind of mindlessly, like, boosting around and... Oh, can he go for that, please? It's open. Nice. You know, if I'm just kind of, like, mindlessly boosting around and not thinking about my decisions, I'm not going to win games. However, if I play like I know that I can, and I play smart, and I play confidently, and, you know, I actually pay attention to the games and the things that are happening around me, it's not that difficult to win, right? Like, right there, if I was paying a little bit closer attention, I probably could have seen that it was a fake kickoff, and I could have, you know, like, hit the ball a little bit higher. I could have even shot the ball and probably scored it, you know? So there's definitely things in the game where all I have to do to actually, you know, use these things to my advantage is pay attention. Right, every time I get Spanish kickoff, most likely the reason I get scored on is because I'm not paying attention on the kickoff. Either from the one getting demoed or from the one, like, actually taking the kickoff when the Spanish kickoff happens. Oh my god, that's a good dunk. But I just need to stop, like, autopiloting and start actually focusing on the game again. He's gonna get that. Hopefully my teammate can get back for that. I think he can, so I'll just go for this. Okay, play behind him here. Try to get that over on um, these two. So anyways, my whole point being, uh, I'm gonna like actually focus on the game and the decisions that I'm making and try to play a little bit smarter today. 
And that might come at the consequence of, you know, maybe me talking a little bit less. Um, but... Okay, 50, double shot. I'm gonna take this boost here. Now, I could stay close. But... All right, I'm gonna take this boost. Go for a demo. Can't get it. Hopefully he just gets one more. Okay, I should be able to take this. Okay. Take this boost from him? Oh no, don't tell me that's a goal. He's gonna take that mid boost. I think my teammate's gonna have a beat there, so I might as well just grab the full. It's gonna go down, should be fine. And then I think this boost is gonna spawn. Nice, good challenge for my teammate. I might get demoed. Oh, that's gonna be a goal. That's kind of bad. Oh no, he's back. Nice. I figured one of them was gonna drive up on the wall there and just slam it in. Um, but either way, if I didn't take the touch there, you know, I really had no boost, so I didn't know when I was going to be able to take the touch. Fake. Oh my god. Nice. Wait on this. Nice, Doc. See if he can uh, go up for one more. Okay. Try to shoot it in. Shot? No! He can't get it. Okay, that's fine. We got 17 seconds here. Plenty of time. Can he hit it around? Okay. Wait, they're awkward. I took the boost. I took all of his boost, Doc. You have a little bit of time here. Gonna go for a demo. <gasps> oh! GG. That would have been tough, dude. Oh well, we'll get right into game number two. I'll see you all then. Alright, game number two. Now, even though we lost the first game, I actually did feel like, especially towards the end, I was starting to play a bit smarter. I was starting to feel a bit more comfortable again. And, you know, playing smart, I feel like, is... That's an unlucky way to start. Um, playing smart, I feel like, is half the battle. You know, because if you're able to play smart and you're able to get yourself in good positions and, you know, feel comfortable with the positions you're in, then, you know, being mechanical and hitting mechanical shots is going to be much easier. Um, so, you know, when I feel smart, I feel like that's the first step and... Oh, wow. See, like, right there. You know, I was in a smart position. You know, I, I was actually good to take the shot there. I just unfortunately missed the shot. That's a nice shot from Waze, though. I unfortunately just missed the shot, which is okay. You know, I would rather be smart and give myself opportunities to score and miss the opportunities than to never have those opportunities at all, right? Because if I'm still giving myself opportunities to score, that means that at the very least, all I have to work on is, you know, getting into more free play and, you know, being in the game more often. Whereas if I'm not smart and I'm not getting opportunities, well, you know, it doesn't matter how many how much mechanics I have, how much mechanical ability I have. If I don't have any options to even, like, go for a shot, it's not going to matter. Gotta make sure that I dodge the demo there. Try to get a bump on him. Waves can maybe take a shot now. Nah, Sketch is there. Okay. Wait on him. I'm just gonna go for that. Gotta make sure I don't own gold disc. Gotta make sure I don't get demoed as well. Either of those things would be pretty, pretty bad. Unfortunately, the ball didn't actually go out from the wall there at all. So I wasn't really able to start up an air dribble. That's fine, though. Nice. Oh my god, that's just gonna be in. That's a great shot from Waves. That is a great shot from Waves. Nice. Good 50. Okay, I'm gonna take this full boost here. Okay, low boost here. Nice, Wave should be able to take that. Fake this, okay. Nam's gonna be on that. I'll fake this, try to get a demo on one. Nice. Okay, gotta wait on the touch. Get a bump on him. Nice. Because I got that bump on him, it makes him a lot harder for him to follow it up. And therefore, Wave's able to get a free touch. Alright, I'm gonna just be able to control that to the corner there. Nice, get the touch up there. Nano's gonna be able to hit it, but, you know, still gonna be tough for them. 
I'll let waves go. Even though I started to turn there, as soon as I realize that he's actually going to be able to get it, then I know that it's my time to just leave. Oh, I actually didn't get the reset there. Uh, even though, obviously, I wanted it. I was going for it. Okay, just hit this to the side. Click it over one. Maybe I can get this out to waves. I don't know what he's going to want to do with that. Yeah, if he just takes a 50 there, that's perfect. He can just go up the wall with it. I'm actually just going to wait on this. Nice. Hit it around. Try to shoot that in. Good save from Nano. Maybe I could have gone for a double there off the near post, but I feel like he probably would have saved it either way. I'm going to fake this. Hit it over. Oh my god, that just went down. Wait, open? <gasps> Waves. No. He missed. Unlucky. That's fine, though. There's a minute 40 left. We're still up one goal, so it doesn't really matter if he scores or not, as long as we are not getting scored on. Doesn't really matter. Perfect. I'm just going to shoot this on, on target. I actually lied about the whole on target thing. Just shooting it. Can he get a touch? Oh, no. Unlucky. That was a tough one to, to defend there. He's got to worry about the air dribble bump. He's got to worry about the high air dribble. He's got to worry about the double tap. You know, it, uh, it's tough. Okay, take this. For one, unfortunately, it's not going to be a fast enough shot. Because I did kind of have to fake it there. Oh, no. I could have double jumped there. It would have been a little bit more powerful. I'm going to let him take that. I knew that he was going to look to get that big boost there, so gonna let him take that oh that might be a goal he's got a touch uh oh it's still in oh my that's so unlucky if he's able to touch that to the point where it goes up or even if it just went like straight backwards like towards you know upfield um then that probably would have been a goal but and uh, you know what i'll take it i'll take it not gonna complain about the opponents you know messing up their kickoffs Nice. Good kickoff there. Perfect. Good follow-up by me. And uh, a great kickoff from Waves. There we go. Two kickoff goals and we're right back in the lead. Perfect. Okay. Just going to get behind him here. And then try to get up for him as fast as possible. It doesn't matter. Actually. Can I get a high five here? No, I had no idea where he was. Nice shot. Double jump. I can't get back to that. Oh my god, that's like four kickoff goals in a row, right? Maybe three in a row? I don't know. No, four in a row, yeah. Just about. Eh, I gotta go back here. Nice, good touch. Just barely got it, but you know, just barely still means that I got it. And when it comes to uh, getting a touch on the goal line, all you need is to just barely keep it out of the net. As long as it's out of the net, it doesn't matter. Try to get a reset there. Unfortunate that I couldn't, but that's all good. Shoot that on. Bro, my shots have been also, like, really weak recently. And I think it's probably because of just, like, the lack of confidence... GG though, we'll get right into game number three. See you all then. Getting into game number three. We're playing against waves this time. We got Fatal on our team. Okay, just hit that up. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of boost here, so Fatal's gonna need to uh, take care of this. Oh, I actually kind of wish he would have left that. I'm gonna wait on this. Nice. It's a good demo from him, and I just kind of went for the ball, like, without having a brain there. Um, Thule thought, I guess, that I wasn't going to go. He thought that I was going to get faked off of it. But, you know, I really didn't have any thoughts or ideas going into that challenge. I was like, you know what? Mm, I think that now looks like a good time to go to a, for a challenge. And honestly, once I get that far up anyways, like, even if it was originally a bad challenge, once I get that far up, like, he can just shoot it on the net if he wants, and there's nothing I can do about it if I fake. So, um, it's almost better for me to just, just commit to it at that point. That's a good touch over one. Waves is going to have that. Although that went really low. Uh-oh. Nice. I'm under him with full boost here. I don't know if he has any. Looks like he does. Is that a double reset? Close. Close. I'm just going to shoot this on. If 
Unfortunately, not quite the powerful shot that I wanted. He's gonna be on that. I'll just leave that. He can take. Nice. I'll let him stay on that. Okay, that's gonna go up and out. I can go for this. Nice, just clear it up high. He might go for this again. That's fine. Fatal should be able to get on that. Perfect. Sometimes you just gotta know when your teammate is and when they're not gonna be on the ball. And this is one of those times, okay? Gotta get a 50 out to him. Wait on this, get the... Nice. Wait on Fatal. I can take this. I'll fake the touch here. Oh, Fatal can go. Get a demo. Get a demo one more. He's gonna wait on this. Nice. Fake this play. Okay. Just get a control touch here. Oh my god, nice. Fatal can take that across now. I'll just wait on him. Nice. Wait on Thule. I'm gonna try to... Oh. I tried to challenge that and like force it low. I don't really know. I'm not a... Uh... Go over him here. Oh my god, he just held his jump there so he could get some extra height on the challenge. That's a... It's a really good play from him. It is a really good play. Okay, I'll just leave that. Okay, I can't really go... Shot! Oh, close. I'll get back for him. He said my bad. I think because he didn't pass it really that hard at all. Nice. I'll just keep that out. Might be going over me there, but Fatal's gonna have a touch. Unfortunately, Waves gets the dunk. You know, if there wasn't a dunk there, um, I just get a free shot, and we probably get a goal as well. Wait on Fatal. He's on that. Oh, man. I didn't own goal that, did I? I don't think so. Should be off. I'll be across here if he wants me. I don't know if he will or not. Just gonna take a 50. Nice. Go for one more. Yeah. Because Dooley's driving up on the backboard there, there is absolutely no reason for me to be challenging that. Like, basically, if you suspect that the opponent is way closer to you, especially if you commit on their half of the field, it's pretty much just gonna make it so that, you know, you're out of the play and, and they don't even really have to do anything. Like, it's not like they're gonna be 50-ing you or anything like that. They just have to touch the ball before you touch the ball, which, you know, they can still control and they can still, that's, that's a good play. That's a really good drop down to his teammate. And then his teammate slotted it. But, you know, as long as they can beat you to the ball without having, like, 50 or anything like that, you know, they can pretty much still control where the ball goes. And, you know, you're just going to be committing yourself for not much gain. Did he just stall that? Oh, my God. I'm going to get a demo on waves here. Unfortunately, I can't do it. I'll just force this. Okay, he should be able to get that. Nice. And I'll just play, watch the mid pass here. I don't know if he got the reset or not there. He got that one. Nice, Fatal's there. Okay, Thule just wasted all of his boost here. Unfortunately, he just got the mid or back boost as well. I'll let him stay on that. Wait if uh, Thule can... I'm gonna fake going up for this and then just hope that Waves gives it away. Which he does. I'm gonna have it 50 out to Fatal there. I can't really go for that. I'm just gonna wait. Okay, yeah, nice. Even the waves dunks me. Not really going to be much of a threat, you know, because Fatal's back. Ball's not going on the net. Waves has no way to score that. I'm just going to force this. Okay, that's down. Oh, not down. Oh, oh. If only Fatal could have controlled that. That would have been nice. I'll wait on him. Let's see if we can ice out the game here. Get around him. Oh my god, he fell off the ceiling with his flip. Bump him? No? Oh, unlucky. No problem, Fatal. No problem. Okay. He should be able to get that, I think. Yeah, that should be fine. That's way over. That's way over. I'll give him a no problem. He's got it. Shot! Shot! Nice, Fatal. Nice shot, dude. All right, well, you know what? We went positive for the day, which I'm gonna say is an overall good thing. 
Um, and of course, if you guys do enjoy the look of the Zuko decal, I think it's very clean. It's very like non-offensive. You know what I mean? Like it just, it's there. It's not like the most, oh my God, gorgeous, stunning, amazing decals I've ever gotten, but I'm personally a big fan of the avatar. So I'll be using this for a bit. Um, if you guys enjoy the video though, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.